Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review. This time with the Iron Man 2 comic series, First Appearance Iron Man. Uh, when they first released pictures of the Iron Man 2 comic series back in, I think like December, I saw this figure and I just had to get it. Uh, for a couple reasons. One is the awesome detail on it, which, in my opinion, is even better than the Marvel Legends, which is kind of crazy saying that, but I mean, a lot of these figures have better detail than a lot of Marvel Legends. But, um, the details a step up, and this is one of my favorite uh, armors of all time from um, Iron Man, whether it be comics, cartoons, movies, etc. Uh, this is just, I don't know why, I guess it's just the simplicity of it. I really like it. So before I get on to the figure, let's take a look at the packaging just real quick. There's a distinct reason I want to show you it. Um, it's the standard front. You know, I'm going to try to cut down on the packaging because it kind of eats up my videos. So, you know, Iron Man 2, picture of Iron Man up there. Iron Man, three armor cards included. Um, Avengers Assemble. Um, number 22 in the line in the back. That's a cool picture of Iron Man. And I, I never read bios, but I have to read this bio. Built based on the primitive transistorized chest plate that keeps Tony Stark alive, this is the armor that first allowed the billionaire inventor to become the Iron Man. Totally bulletproofed and armed with magnetic repulsors, it allows Stark to hold his own, even against the likes of the Hulk. The reason I wanted to read that is this part, even against the likes of the Hulk. That's such a cool nod to the comics, because in, in the comics, this is the original armor that he fought the Hulk in. So, I mean, I thought that was just a really cool nod. So let's take him off his base, take a look at his accessories. Um, he, of course, comes with the armor cards. I'm not going to take them out, but you all know what they are. You know, three cards, and you put them together, and it's Iron Man. And it has a coat on the side, but I don't know. It's lined up perfectly in the stand right now, and I really don't want to mess with that. And then he comes with, as you can see, a little snap-on repulsor blast. It's just, uh, like a little rubbery plastic, really bend. Um, well, not bendy, but, you know. You can bend it, but it's just going to move back into place. But, um, orange, and it, it, can, it fits better on his fist. But you can also uh, put it on this hand, this opened hand, if you want. But, I mean, it fits better on the fist. So, looking at the detail on Iron Man, um, let's put him on his feet right here. Looking at the detail, I mean, like I said... This is just absolutely top-notch. Top One of the best detailed figures in the line, I think. Um, just all around him, so good. All kinds of little dings and scratches. Um, the front part of him is very dirty and very battle damage kind of look. The face is very nice. But you can see, like, right around this chest plate, um, right there, and up here and stuff, there's little bullet holes you come around to the back something kind of funny is it's only dirty on the front come around to the back it's more not clean but not dirt but there's still all kinds of scratches and dings and just awesome I mean there's nothing on here that's missing that was on the Marvel Legends but there's things added that wasn't um for articulation oh my bad, I'm sorry about that. Um, articulation, head can rotate 360 degrees, look up and down. Look up and down, kind of, but not a lot, but I mean, you know. Um, goes in and out at the arm, rotates at the arm, bends at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist. Ro um, oh, and something I want to point out, well, I'll, I'll point that out um, in a little bit um, when I get on to this other part, but... Uh, Rotates at the uh, waist a little. I mean, you can do it, but it gets a little hindered because of the uh, thickness of the waist. And I really don't want to do that a lot because it probably will scratch the paint. So it goes in and out at the leg, forward and back. Uh, bends at the knee, then forward and back at the foot, and rotates at the foot. So very good articulation on him. You know, not Marvel Legends uh, quality. But speaking of Marvel Legends... Um... I want to compare him to the Marvel Legends first appearance Iron Man. So you can see that they are, oh man, they are a lot bigger. But I, I do think I like this one better. Um, better detail like I pointed out before, even though I mean this one does have great detail, don't get me wrong. But a 
And what's really neat is they did do something that the Marvel Legends also did, which is the way his hands are positioned, you can recreate the uh, classic cover where he was like bent over because he had like a pinching hand and then a closed fist. Same with the Marvel Legend. Um, but a really distinct difference that I see, and you have to be a real nerd to know this, is that um, this one is based off of Jack Kirby's art. And I think this one, oh, sorry. This one is based off of Audie Granoff. Or, um, he's the one who did Iron Man Extremis, and this is how it looked in Extremis. The eyes were a bit different, as you can see, these ones are wider. Um, this one's a little, you know, more slanted. The look, it's all dirty and darker gray, which is how it looked in Extremis, where this one's lighter and cleaner. So I do believe that this is based off of Iron Man Extremis, and this is based off of Jack Kirby. So, uh, overall, this is just a really great figure. Awesome nod to the comics, first of all. And, I mean, it just looks amazing. I mean, I can't get over the detail. Just one of the, the most detailed figures I've gotten in a long time. And probably one of the most detailed figures I have. I mean, just awesome. Awesome. Definitely recommend him. You, you have to have this one in your collection, whether you're an Iron Man fan, Marvel fan. And if you're going to get only a couple from the comic line, I'd say this and War Machine are the way to go. Um, so stay tuned for more reviews. And this is Eddie, signing out.